We're going to be working with a 157802. Uh, we've already put a little bit of chemical down on the uh, concrete. I'm going to show you again how to hook up the chemical injector and we'll put a little chemical down on the garage door I'm going to wash off as well. Uh, we're going to hook your chemical holes up to your unloader or chemical injector right in front of the unloader valve. You want to make sure you drop your holes directly into the soap, which has a strainer already on it. And you've got your black chemical nozzle that's placed inside the quick coupler on the very end. And you want to pull your trigger to make sure that you have purged the system. And you should be able to start seeing some soap coming out of there, which tells you your chemical injector is working fine. At this point, you can start seeing some of the chemical coming out which now I have chemical coming out of the bottom of my hole. So I know my chemical injector is working. I'm going to start the unit up. It's going to make a little bit of noise. We've got a Honda 13 horse with a little oil shut down. I want to make sure I turn my gas back on. At this point, I'm done spraying my chemical. The soap manufacturer on this point says we should leave it sit for at least five minutes to be able to cure. So that way it has a chance to do its job. When I come back to using it, I'm going to turn around and put on my 25 degree nozzle, which just quick couples into the very end with a quarter inch quick coupler. And that'll be able to do a fair job at this point for rinsing off my soap. And we'll go ahead and get started on the concrete for I've already had that soaking. There you have a quick and easy job. Now I can get on to better and bigger things with my uh, weekend warrior list that my uh, foreman gave me. Give yourself a great day and don't forget to visit us at northerntool.com where you'll be able to see many pressure washers featured there as well as big and small.